The last topic in section P1 that I want to cover deals with absolute values. And absolute values deal with distance. So if we're on the number line trying to figure out what's the distance between say negative 3 and 7 if I start at negative 3 how far do I have to go to get to 7? Well that's answered by subtraction. You just take 7 the destination minus your starting point and that'll tell you how many steps you have to take in order to get to your destination. So in this case minus a minus 3 becomes 7 plus 3 so we'd have to take 10 steps to get to 7. The problem is is that it doesn't work in reverse. If we take our destination minus our starting point, what we get this time is a minus 10. And this is the whole point of signed numbers, is that this minus 10 means you're going to be taking 10 steps to the left, and the left is indicated by the negative. Before, we were moving 10 steps to the right, and so we got a positive 10. So positive values indicate moving to the right, negative indicate moving to the left. Well, when we're dealing with distance, we don't care about left or right. Distance doesn't care about direction. So we need to find a way to strip away the sign. from our subtraction. And the way we do this is with absolute value. The absolute value of a number is just denoted by two vertical bars surrounding the number. And this is just the, if you will, positive version of the number. So if we take the absolute value of our minus 10 from before, we just make minus 10 positive and we get 10 out from the absolute value. Taking the absolute value of a negative just makes that negative number positive. But we could also take the absolute value of positive numbers. And the positive version of 10 is just 10. It's already positive, so we don't do anything to it. And the other thing that doesn't change when you take absolute values of it is 0. The positive version of 0 is just 0. So the distance between two points on the number line distance between A and B on the number line is just the absolute value of B minus A. And in this case, it really doesn't matter what's the start and what's the stopping point. You know, whether we start at A and end up at B or start at A and end up at or, excuse me, start at B and end up at A. Because doing one path, it takes just as many steps as the other, just in the opposite direction. And absolute values strip away direction. So regardless of whether A is on the left and B is on the right, or B is on the left 
and A is on the right, this absolute value will give you the distance between these two points.